Today I'm going to show you how to add a gold foil effect in Canva to your wedding invitation text. This will add a sparkle and a sheen. So if you are ready to dazzle your guests, let's jump to Canva and I will show you how to make your font sparkle. Let me demonstrate using these names here. So the first thing I'm going to do is group these. I'm going to copy them. You always want to keep your original invitation and I'm just going to add in a new blank page underneath and get rid of the background. I'm going to drag that group down onto there and just for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to make it as large as I can. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees which I will turn it back at the end. I'm trying to make it really as big as I can because the bigger it is the easier it is for the computer to read what you're doing. Go to elements, type in a rectangle so that I get a shape. Any color that is nice and dark and contrasted so for the sake of this let's just use a nice bright red. I'm going to move it so that it covers the entire text. It's also really important that you've got this white outline around the side. It doesn't have to be even. I'm going to select that position and send it to back there. We can also use this one. Next step is to turn all this text to white. Quick double check that none of the white is actually touching on the edges, especially if it's close by. That should be all right. Now what we're going to do is we are essentially going to try and just print this page as it were, like a screenshot. So print it to file. You're going to go up to share, download page two or current page and make sure it's a png now add a new page go down to uploads upload file select your file upload files that is now really important to note that this is no longer text this is like an image now because there is nothing that can be edited so it's really important that you have your final invitation when you start this process so the next step is to go to background remover now, this is a premium feature. You can see that it's got the crown here. I will link to a video in the description below for a video that shows you how to do this for free if you don't have Canva Pro. Be sure to check that out. Now I'm going to go over to Elements and type in gold. Okay, and you will have a whole selection of different gold textures. You are looking for something that is high contrast and that has this has a lovely variation between light and dark. And if you have some dynamic to the movement, that can be really nice as well. So for something like this, I'm going to use a texture like this. So you can see I've got really nice, interesting changes between lights and darks and quite a lot of variation between that. And what I'm going to do now is a little extra. I like to go into adjust and just bring up that contrast a little bit by upping the differences. So I'm going to up the contrast. If you want to eyeball this, just want that little bit of extra contrast because you're not going to be seeing it like a gold bar like this. You're only going to be seeing features of it. Another top tip that I like to do is to just rotate it so that it's not that flat linear pattern. You actually get some dynamic to the movement. Then you want to extend this beyond the text because it's obviously got this feature of these gold lines here. You want to get rid of that, just extend it beyond, and then you are going to position and send it to back. Now you start to get a feel for how this is going to be interacting with the text. Okay, you play around with it until you are happy, and then your, your next step is going to be to go back and type in rectangle. You are wanting the same color as the original background that you chose. And what we're going to do now is just cover the edges with that. Once you are sure that everything has been covered, right over to the edges, you are now going to do the same thing again, where you're going to download this. So again, PNG, your current page, and download. And we're going to go over to upload, upload files. Now we rotate it back to the correct orientation. If that was needed, go over to background remover. You remember the link in the description below if you need it. If you're not part of Canva Pro, and there we have it. So let's just see what this looks like. I'm going to duplicate this page, and then I'm going to just shift it down. Okay, so here's our original invitation. I'm now going to take this, and now I'm just going to keep the original font while I resize this. Remember, it's like an element. Now it's like an image, you, you cannot change the font or the spelling or anything like that now. So it needs to be done correctly the first time, otherwise you'll be redoing it. Send that to back and then I'm just going to delete and look at that. Look at the difference. Now the beauty of this is that because it's an element, you can treat it like an element. You can edit it, you can make adjustments at this stage if you need to. You can change the contrast, shadows, highlights, whatever you need. Okay. 
You can also add shadows and things like that if you want to. Now, as a final flourish, what you can also do is go over to Elements and type in Sparkle. And you can choose a little bit of bling to shine it up. And what you're wanting to do is for the placement of it, you're wanting to try and find somewhere where the light is naturally falling on it. Something where it's just a bit of sparkle that catches the light. There is an example of how it can be done leveling it up and dazzling your guests. Now this can be done as much or as little as you like. It can just be the names to pop out at you or if you're wanting an example of what it might look like, this is an example of where all the text has the shimmer. What a difference a simple effect can have on your invitation. Congratulations, you now have a sensational wedding invitation that is golden and sparkling and will absolutely dazzle your guests. If this method worked for you and you now have the stunning golden wedding invitation, make sure you pop me a gold star in the comments below. I would love to see how many gold stars we can get of people that are having stunning golden wedding invitations. If you have any questions, be sure to pop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. This can be applied to any wedding stationery, like table numbers or seating charts or name place cards. And I have got videos on how to make all of those. So once you understand this technique, you will be able to apply it to any of your wedding stationery pieces.